one, two. I came across this cake that was made by an actual artist, which was a recreation of this animated cake from the movie Sleeping Beauty. So naturally, I thought, how interesting is it to recreate fictional animated cakes and transform it into real life cake. So for this video, we've got a total of six cakes from different Disney classics. I think we've got Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Snow White. We've got a lot of cakes to go through, so I'm there is no other way to do it. Obviously, we're going to start with the Sleeping Beauty cake, which is the inspiration for this video. This is probably one of the most iconic visual cakes from a Disney animated movie. You guys know how these videos work, so we're gonna start with a five-star bakery review and then do the one star, but like this is gonna be really hard to accomplish. The physics, the gravity of that, it's like... I wanna try something different because I feel like it would be way more dramatic if we could lift the box up and then reveal the cake. I really hope I'm not cutting through cake. It's entirely possible. I should have definitely done this before filming, but... Okay, I'm hoping... I'm I'm hoping that this is going to work and it's going to... What I'm about to reveal is a Sleeping Beauty cake animated, recreated by a five-star rated bakery. Before I show it to you, I just want to come clean that I've never watched Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, or any of these princess movies. It just never happened. Oh, this is very solid. One, two... Oh. Oops, no, never mind that. Wow, that's beautiful. Like, first thing you notice is like the colors of it. It's like a slap in the face, even for a colorblind person. Suddenly I can see color. It looks animated, like it doesn't look like a real cake. I've never seen a cake that literally looks like it's been drawn on there. Like, it looks photoshopped, animated. On the animation, I think there's a little broom like holding the cake and they did kind of like a miniature broom. I want to do a side by side with the actual image. I would say that it's very close. The colors are perfect. I love that they added the candles on top. Like that looks incredible. Like the only thing, and this is us just coming through with the details. This cake has three layers while the one, the animated one had probably a total of like eight different layers. The animated one actually looked messier it was kind of falling apart but i would say the fact that they could even hold it like that i think this might be candy melts kind of like white chocolate so they didn't even use frosting it looks like melted wax which is what it looked like on the animated movie and it looks exactly like that it looks like melted crayons to me this is a real five star bakery all the bakeries for this video, it's all bakeries that we've never used before, both the one star and the five star. Apart from the fact that this one only has three layers, there's literally nothing else I could have asked from this. The texture, the colors, the overall like polish of it that makes it look like cartoonish. 10 out of 10. Imagine going from this to the one star rated. This is not fair. There is no way this is ever gonna be fair, but basically this is the exact same cake, the Sleeping Beauty cake, but made by a one star rated bakery. Before I show it to you to keep it super real, this bakery didn't have a lot of clients, so there were only a few ratings, most of them being two star and one star. Let's see what it looks like. It looks terrible, but it's got layers. Also what my therapist says about my personality. Look, it doesn't look quite as animated. It's an abstract animated, maybe. You could see this at, like at an art gallery, like when cake imitates life, that being my life. <laughs> the first ones look all right. Like this is like messy, but intentional. And then suddenly it's just like, you know what? And we stopped caring all around. There is literal pieces of blue food coloring that didn't get mixed in the frosting. They sent the candles, so I appreciate that. Maybe that's going to make the look a lot better. You know what? I believe. So I'm going to put the candles on top, kind of like they did. 
still lacking something. Jokes aside, now the construction of it has to be really good, like the base of it, because I'm spinning this like 50 different times and it's like, it's staying there. The frosting is not moving. The ribbons on top, like the other one looked like animated. This one, you know, it's an interesting look. The exposed layers, it doesn't quite work for this cake because it gives it like a real life cake feel to it. It's like too textured. What I asked them was to give it like an animated look. If I had to make this cake, I think the visually, I mean, I would probably do something similar, but construction wise, I don't think I would be able to stack like all these layers. I'm gonna put it side by side, but I don't know how many layers the original cake has, but this one has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine layers. That's a lot of cake to like, not only bake, but also to stack up in a way that it can be transported. Before we move on to the next Disney movie, I'm gonna do a side by side so we can truly see the differences of the cakes, but I mean, I feel like this is just rubbing it in. So here we've got a close up of both of our Sleeping Beauty cakes. The colors on this one, it's incredible. The way they've done like the candle melting, it just looks fake. And the fact that they looked at the details, they did the broomstick, and the candles all in like whatever material this is that it's going to be interesting to cut into. It's a good effort to the fact that they stacked all these layers. The piping on it, it might not be perfect, especially like the frosting, the blue frosting. It just looks a little bit too messy. It doesn't have that melted look. It doesn't look like melted wax. It looks like melted frosting. The way they've done these little bits in frosting, it just looks a little bit messy. There's half of it missing there. This is just so beautiful that I literally, like, my eyes just want to look at this one and that, it's like, maybe if we lit up the candles it'll look better? Or maybe this whole thing is truly gonna melt? Stay tuned, let's find out. This is not how I expected to spend my birthday at 4 a.m. Oh no, this went off. Well, we got three candles. <coughs> so, ooh, it's dripping on the cake. Oh, that cannot be good for me. Moving on to the next Disney classic, like animated food. I would get in so much trouble if I didn't include this because I know this is so many people's favorite Disney princess movie. This is the plate of gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast. And it's basically like an assortment of just cakes or like miniature little foods. I've never watched the movie, but I don't think it matters because I don't think anyone truly knows what gray stuff is. Anything could be gray stuff. So it's gonna be interesting to see what a five-star rated bakery came up with. I'm about to reveal the plate of gray stuff from a five-star bakery. Jesus. Thank you for this blessing. This is, whoa, just the most beautiful thing we've ever received from a bakery. The textures of this, oh my God, I literally need to show it to you guys. The plate alone, this looks animated. It looks like a badly photoshopped like thumbnail for a video. Like, like I'm holding something that isn't there. Like I don't even have to compare this to the image. I just know they put an insane amount of detail in this. The first cake was so mind blowing that I thought there is no way that it could be better, but this is better. Oh, and you can hold them. Clearly Salem found it first. <laughs> I've never even watched these movies. I can only imagine if you guys watched this growing up. A blessing to die. Can you believe this is not a real sandwich? I refuse to believe. Look at that heart on top. How have they put this much detail into this? I'm gonna try to do a side by side with this and the animated version, but I think the shapes are spot on. I think the only thing is the color of the gray stuff. I could be wrong because I am colorblind, but I think they've done it in like brown, shades of brown. This is supposed to be gray or is this the gray stuff? I don't know. I'm not the best person to comment on colors, but that is the only thing I could even dare to say about this. So here we've got the plate of gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast from a one star rated bakery. If I can get this out. Okay, there we go. One, two. That's way better than I was expecting. And also the gray stuff. Is it gray? Is it pink? Surprisingly, that's not bad. 
That's not bad at all. It definitely doesn't have the animated look that I was looking for. It looks like a real life version of the animated stuff. Like if we put this side by side, I honestly think the colors and everything, it's pretty good. The only thing is this is made of real pastries. So like they actually attempted to make this. This is like profiterol pastry or whatever you call it, which is a real life version of the cartoon one. I actually like it. I think it looks really cool and like polished and everything is like full on glued here. So nothing will like fall. They clearly thought about this. Is the gray stuff gray or is this pink? I like, I hate being colorblind. They still did these little details like the olive with those little hearts. Obviously just not as polished, but I actually think the colors of it, it's really cool. I think they're really messy with the frosting. Like this looks messier than when I make a Nutella toast and they've recreated created that instead. They're really messy with the frosting, but then they're actually good at other stuff. Like this little one with the little meringue on top. Would I say this is like one star quality? No, I would put it more like a two and a half stars. Like I feel like that would be fair. This also kind of looks like like a bad Photoshop. I think we should do a close up, see it side by side. So here we've got our five star plate of gray stuff and the one star rated ones. And this is a tricky one to show you because there's just so many things and I'm like afraid of dropping it. I hope it's not just me, but I hope you guys see the amount of textures like going on here. The bread looks like real bread. There's like baking and there's art. And to me, this is like, this is actual art. I wanna show you guys the plate alone. They've done these like details on the plate. This is all edible. This is sugar. Like, so this one on the other hand, it doesn't look as animated because it's basically just not as covered. It's just got different elements to it that are real like baking elements. The colors of it is actually probably a lot more like in the movie. Weirdly, it doesn't look as dark. It's still like cake or like little cakes turned into like something when this one it's art. For this next one, this is one of the biggest animated classics of all time, not only from Disney, this is from Snow White. For the first one, we had a cake. For the second one, we had miniature things. For this one, something that is neither of those. This is the Snow White Grumpy Pie. I think it says grumpy on it. I'm gonna get in so much trouble for saying that I've never watched Snow White. I've seen the pie and I feel like I've seen enough because I do want to eat it. Like that looks like the most perfect pie. I think that's the name of it on the movie. Before I get in more trouble, I think we should just open the pie from a five-star bakery. This is not that complex, but I'm finding it really interesting. Is it gonna be a cake or are they gonna make an actual pie? Because I didn't give them instructions. I just said, make it look animated. So here we've got the Snow White pie from a five-star bakery. And I'm gonna hope I'm hoping that this all comes out in one go. This might be just my brain playing tricks on me, but I smell a McDonald's apple pie. Okay, one, two. Wait, this is from the Five Star Bakery. It looks incredible. Like, it's an incredible looking pie. I've never bought a pie in my life. It smells so good. The crust, like, they must have went through so much work to make that. That weirdly looks animated. Like it looks like those pies that, like on the windowsill. Oh, I'm just gonna go away and see if someone steals it. It looks incredible. The only reason why I'm like, wow, I almost said shook. The reason why it might look like I'm slightly disappointed, it's because every single one of the other ones before looked so animated that I just, I actually expected them to do this in like phone down, like look like a cartoon pie. We do have to keep things fair. While this is a beautiful looking pie, if we do a side by side of this pie and the one from the Snow White movie, this is like not even close. The other one had Grumpy written on top, which was kind of important. They also had these little birds that I think thought they could do something cool with it, maybe recreate the birds, just to give it that animated look. Definitely the best pie I've ever seen in person, but like the edges and like the writing on it, this does not look like what I was expecting. This might be the time for the one star bakery just to come and fully redeem themselves for the fictional Disney movie foods. I honestly did not expect this, but I think this might be the most exciting unexpected reveal of the whole video. It could be just 
another pie, which I would be disappointed, but let's have a look at the perfect grumpy pie from Snow White made by a one-star bakery. Holy guacamole! It's a grumpy pie! It's a 3D realistic cartoon looking grumpy pie. Oh my god, I'm so relieved. Like, I mean, it might not be like the most polished around the edges, the plate especially. Look at the detail. That actually looks animated. Like, the way they paint it around the little the little cuts on the pie. Like, it looks so fake that I don't even want to eat it. My brain doesn't register this as food. And that is exactly what I was excited for. One Star Bakery does not deserve the one star. Like, they deserve two stars at least. If you told me that this came from the Five Star Bakery, I would believe it. They've done an incredible job, regardless of the fact that this is simple. This is what I wanted, and they've delivered it to me. This is my five star. It's gonna be interesting to see this one side by side with the other one because one of them looks like perfect matte Play-Doh and the other one is a real pie, so I cannot wait to show you that. I'm gonna be honest, I was slightly disappointed with the five star one. Like I double, triple checked to make sure this is actually the five star one. I do understand what they were trying to do. They gave me just something different. So all the other cakes were very like heavily decorated like fondant. This is actual pastry. It's got like puff pastry on top and then this is like some like short crust or something in the bottom. To me it's slightly disappointing when I was expecting something a little bit more like this. They use the same font, like these are things that we don't, we take for granted. Like that must have taken them so long, so I want to give them credit. Like honestly, all the one star reviews, I feel like they were harsh. I mean, we haven't tasted it yet. This is like some weird buffet at Disneyland or something. So I'm going to do a full plate with everything from the five star one, the cake, these little things and pie. And then we're going to try both plates, this one and the one star. Oh. Did not expect that. So we might not be able to get a full slice. I think there's a structure in the middle. I'm assuming that in order to keep this... Wait, there's no structure. So we're gonna try that. I mean, I think you can see it literally sliced incredibly. Should we eat one of the candles just to see? Well, no, it's not edible, but we'll put it in there. Even a slice of this looks unreal. Like, that's not a real piece of cake. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but I'm gonna slice into it. Oh, that is not edible. Oh, I can't even slice through it. It's like marble on the inside. Do you guys see how shiny that is? Like, it's so tough. Listen to this. Are they trying to kill me? I'm hoping that we can try one of the sandwiches as well. So I'm going to slice into the sandwich. I might have been a little bit harsh with the pie, but I mean, it does stand out. Like, it doesn't seem like it comes from the same bakery. So, that's gonna be good. I mean, I don't love fruity pies, but something tells me that this is gonna be it. So we're gonna get a plate from the one star, and then we can sit down and choose which one is the winner for the flavor. And here we've got our one star family. You know, maybe you not... Know, conventionally as attractive. How is this cake standing? Like, do you guys see the degree that that has? Oh, it's... Okay, I get it. There's something in the center. Oh, that feels soft and nice. <gasps> That's really nice. We're gonna get this little bread sandwich. Oh my god, it's like salted caramel or something. This is gonna win the flavor test. And I'm gonna get half of this little... I don't know what it is. This looks like the adopted family member. Oh, I just realized it's chocolate in the center. Oh, that's gonna be really good. Oh my god. That is the most insane, like, double chocolate filling. It literally smells so intense of chocolate. Am I sitting on a pile of frosting cake boxes and just stickiness? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes, because I wanted this animated look. The five star is for me definitely the winner. But when it comes to flavor, let's find out. So this cake, the five star one, it's really, really white. Like it looks like a cloud. Betty Crocker might have something to do with this. Definitely not Betty Crocker. It's not sweet enough. Pretty good. It's probably not the best like sponge cake I've had just because to me it's not sweet enough. But I like that it doesn't have too much frosting. 
It's just really dry phone down. Nope. In general, I dislike phone tone, which I think it's what this is all made of. Yes, but this one is not too bad, actually. It is literally like eating sugar. Whoa. This one on the inside, that really tough bit, I think it's really like tough, like dried out phone tone. Like it literally shouldn't sound like that. So the apple pie. Oh my god. Whoa. Mm. No doubt, 100% homemade. It tastes like real apples. Like you can almost taste like the freshness of the apples. Like, I don't know, it's really good. I have no idea what I'm saying. I've never eaten much apple pie. However, that's incredible. So here's the one star rated cake. Also very pale. Mm. I don't love that. I don't love that at all. I think it's the frosting on the cake. There's something that tastes fishy. It's really weird. I really, really don't like this. Like, I would really prefer not to eat the rest of that slice. Maybe the recipe changed for this one, for the gray stuff one. That one's good. It's like strawberry buttercream. Wow. The buttercream on this one, it's like nice, buttery, creamy. I don't understand. So for the biscuit, I'm gonna try just the gray stuff. Blueberry, maybe? That's actually good. Last thing, we're gonna try the pie, and I really love the other one, so this better be great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Whoa, that wins the whole video. <laughs> this is a lot of sugar. <laughs> oh well. Whoa. <laughs> Even though I didn't like the cake, I would say that my winner is the one star bakery when it comes to flavor. Just that chocolate cake, it's so rich that usually I'd be like, that's way too much. But like chocolate on chocolate, to me at least, it's really difficult for me. I usually like vanilla and chocolate or something else in chocolate, but like chocolate on chocolate, the fact that I love that. Not even just saying this, this was one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed. Like just the whole thing was just as magical as the food looked so if you guys enjoy that please don't forget to give this a like and don't mind the buttercream and frosting before i go i would also really appreciate if you guys have three seconds to scroll down and subscribe to my youtube channel um, these videos are really difficult to arrange just for many different reasons and the only way that i ever ask you guys to support me or support this series is just by subscribing to my channel so a huge thank you to those of you who subscribe, who've got the notifications on. You truly do support this series and it means a lot to me. If by any chance you guys want to watch a part two, uh, please let me know in the comment section what other Disney movies you think there's really interesting fictional foods for me to order from a one star and a five star bakery because I would love to do this as a series, but I never know what you guys think. I love you guys and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.